Dear learners, welcome to NIOS studio. I am Savitri Sen, National Consultant of Early Childhood Care and Education. Today we are going to discuss the lesson 12, Planning Developmentally Appropriate ECCE Curriculum. The subtitle is Designing an ECCE Program. So let us see how to design the ECCE program and what are the things we have to keep in our mind when we are going to design the ECCE program. So the first thing that we have to keep in our mind that the activities should bolster all the domains of development. Let us see. This is the web chart of activities which foster all the development. So, for language development, what are the activities which are written here? Just see, conversation, story, rhymes, dramatization, role play, language game, riddles, puppet play, picture book reading, words making, rhyming words, visual discrimination and sound discrimination activities. All these activities are for language development. Now the second domain, physical and motor development. Physical and motor development, this is divided in two part. First is fine motor and second is large motor. For fine motor development, drawing, coloring, paper tearing and cutting and pasting, threading beads, clay, printing, sorting. All these activities are for fine motor development. And for large motor development, walking, running, jumping, crawling, rolling, hopping, kicking, catching, climbing, exercise and some activities for balancing the bodies. So all these activities are for large motor development. Now come on cognitive development. So for cognitive development there are some activities which are very important. Activities for visual discrimination skill, activities for sound discrimination skill, now, what is visual discrimination skill? For this, you can find out like this. You can ask the children which two pictures are same. Now, this one and this one are same. For visual discrimination, another picture. Which picture is different? Now, this is vegetable. This is vegetable, this is not vegetable, and this is vegetable. So this picture is different. So this activity is for visual discrimination skill. So now sound discrimination skill. How will you give this activity? Sound discrimination, I am giving you the presenting here three sounds. You have to tell me the different sounds. Now two sounds are same and one sound is different. Which sound is different? Woo -woo! So this is called with sound discrimination scale. Now observation and memory. Suppose here one picture camel, this is dog and this is cow. So dog camel and cow. Ask the children to observe these pictures and then ask them to close their eyes. When children will close their eyes, just remove one picture and now ask them which picture is not there. They will memorize and then they will answer that 
dog is not there. So this is called observation and memory activity. Now sequential thinking. Sequential thinking. What is sequential thinking? When you describe any story, ask the children. Better you ask the children, okay, since morning, what have you done up till now? You woke up at early in the morning, you brushed your teeth, you took bath and you took the breakfast and you dressed up and you came here. One by one, you are describing the incidents. And this is called sequential thinking. You are thinking in sequence order. Okay? So, this is also very important for cognitive development. And then classification. Now, what is classification? Maybe you, these are pictures and you can ask the children to classify these pictures. So these are zebra, lion, camel and cow. Ask the children to just classify these pictures animals, these are domestic animals and these are wild animals. So children are classifying the pictures, wild animals and domestic animals. This is classification. Problem solving and reasoning. You can ask the children to, you just give these pieces of paper and and you ask them to join it. Now children will join the pieces and they will complete the picture. This was the problem for the children. You had given them the problem and children have solved it. So this is problem solving. Okay. And now puzzles. Puzzles are same puzzles I have showed you. These are puzzles, two pieces puzzles. Earlier I have also told you that it should go simple to complex. First you give two pieces puzzles, then three or four pieces puzzles and keep on make it difficult. Five pieces, six pieces puzzles. So this is puzzles. Now socio-emotional development. We should give some activities for socio-emotional development also. That is very important. So, uh, all group activities are for socio-emotional development. Group activities, because they are sitting, they are playing in group, they are sitting in group, they are talking to each other, they are helping to each other. And this is for social development. Okay? Now, birthday celebration. Birthday celebration is also socio-emotional development. So, when you are celebrating birthday, all the children are coming. They are just uh, appreciating each other's dress. They are presenting gifts. So, birthday celebration. Then, festival celebrations. Festival ce celebration, all the children celebrate together and they enjoy the festivals in the classroom. Okay. Now playing with sand, clay and water. Sand, clay and water. Uh, all of us have two types of emotions. That is one is negative emotions and second one is positive emotions. When you give them the sand, clay and water, this is very good activities for emotional development because you ask them to make something and children uh, with clay you ask them to make something with clay what children do they just do like this do like this and do like this with clay so what what are they doing they are satisfying their negative emotions so all negative emotions are coming out so and water play for water play, when you give them water, what they do? They do chap 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 chap. 
So they enjoy this and in this way, they just release their emotions. So dramatization and role play. So with this exercise, we can develop their social and emotional development. Then come creativity and aesthetic appreciation. Creativity and all creative activities, uh, drawing, coloring, paper tearing, cutting, pasting, all these um, creative activities are for creativity and aesthetic appreciation. Puppet play, they enjoy a lot. Collage work, paper folding, dancing, music and movement. All these experiences, when we will give them, they will develop their creativity and aesthetic appreciation. So, this is the web chart of activities for domains of development, different domains of development. This will help here when we will take a theme because activities are here when we take theme then we can pick the activities from there and we put it here related to and the theme. We are taking here the theme animals. So for language development, conversation will be on theme animals. Okay, and stories and songs will also be related to animals. Rhymes like uh, one rhyme I'm just I want to re recite here. My doggy loves his dinner bowl, dinner bowl, dinner bowl. My doggy loves his dinner bowl and wants me to fill it, and wants me to fill it. He rolls it and thumps it and bangs it and bumps it. He rolls it, thumps it, bangs it, bumps it, rolls it, thumps it, bangs it, bumps it. When there's no dinner in it, when there's no dinner, in it. In this way, you can plan songs and stories related to the animals. Then riddles. I say meow, meow. Who am I? Yes, cat. So this type of riddles related to the animals. Okay. And then listening and speaking games. All the children come to me. All the children come to me. How should we come? How should we come? Come like cat. Come like cat. Oh, meow, meow, meow. All these are language games. So this type of games you can provide to them. And then reading and writing activities. Show and tell activities. What is show and tell activities? Show the pen. Show the cup. What is this? This is a cup. What is the color of this cup? The color of the cup is white. What do we do with this cup? We drink milk. We drink coffee. We drink tea. Okay. So, when you will... What is this? This is the handle. With this handle, we hold the cup. So, this is a cup. Its color is white. We drink milk, tea, coffee with this cup. And there is a handle also. And this is activity is called show and tell. And then print rich display on animals. So there should be the, all the classroom should be uh, displayed by print rich environment because the children will see the picture and see the name of that picture written there and both they will able to relate both the mm, things. So there should be print rich environment for it will help them to read afterwards. Okay. And then comes cognitive development, matching, picture matching. We can ask them to match the picture. Okay. Then classification. Pet and wild animals. Ask them to classify. You provide them the picture cards and ask them to classify. So maybe a 
pet and wild animals, maybe uh, milk giving animals and uh, not milk giving animals. In this way, you can divide the, uh, classify the animals. Then comes pre number concept, big and small. So big and small, big and small. One, add one more size, this is big and small, add one more size, this is the biggest one, this is smaller than this and this is the smallest and one more size, so ask them to arrange in serial order and this is called seriation, ascending and descending order ask them to arrange it in ascending and descending order and this activity is seriation. So what is different for visual discrimination? One picture will be different and other will be like this. One picture is different and others are same. What is different and what is same here? Which one is different? This is animal, this is animal, this is also animal, but this is not animal. So, this is different. So, in this way, we can develop the visual discrimination. Now comes socio-emotional development. We, for this development, we can talk related to animals, care of animals. How can you care the animals? Then role play, play play and water play. Okay, again physical and motor development, fine motor, coloring inside the picture of animals. Give them the paper and uh, drawing of some animals and children will color inside the animals. Joining dots on the picture of animals for fine motor development, if they will join the picture Suppose this is the, I ask the children, this is the dots and ask them to join the dots. So children will join the dots. And this activity will help in fine motor development. Okay, and uh, then comes all art activities is for uh, fine motor development, threading beads and sorting. Then large motor activities, animals walk, ask them to come little children, come, 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 come little children, come, come, come. How should we come? How should we come? Come like a cat. So all the children will come, walk like meow, 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 meow. And all children will come, come like dog, wow, 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 all children will come. So this is animals walk, outdoor game based on animals. Maybe you can do racing, animals racing, ball play, jumping and hopping. Jump like monkey, hop like rabbit. So all these, uh, last one, creativity and aesthetic appreciation, freehand drawing, ask the children to draw any animals you like. So they will draw and coloring, coloring inside the animal's picture, tearing and pasting, there will be a uh, line of, uh, outline of uh, any animal and ask the children to tear the paper and paste inside the animal's picture. Music and movement, make music and children will walk. So music and movement, vegetable printing, dancing, thumb printing, animals walk. So all these activities are for all round development and there is one theme. So all the activities are related to the theme. This is co called thematic approach. With the help of theme, we can develop all the domains we can develop in our children. So up till now, you have learned the different activities for the domains of different domains of development.
and how these activities will help in our thematic approach. When we will take theme, so how can we apply all these activities with our theme. In our next tutorial, you will learn how to make weekly plan and weekly plan and daily plan. So let us see the next tutorial. Thank you.